Hey, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, I wanted to do a video on the hardware being used for the home data center and uh, kind of go over the, the specs and, and the equipment we'll be using. So these are, um, these are two Dell Precision 7910 workstations and uh, each one is 256 gigs of RAM, dual 8 core Xeon processors. Um, each one has a, a, a Intel uh, dual 10 port SFP um, 10 gig NIC card and uh, they're, they're booting, they, they run ESX off of um, uh, a flo uh, USB drive so then um, up here I've got the QNAP the QNAP NAS and cloud router switch so the NAS uh, the NAS right now is running a single 4 terabyte SSD drive and then 4, uh, four 1 terabyte um, SATA drives and uh, I know there's a, a little bit of a lack of redundancy on the SSD, but I'm snap mirroring all that data to the DR site. Um, so I, if there were something to happen to it, it's practically a brand new drive. So it's not likely, but if something were to happen to it, I, I won't lose, uh, you know, any more than, in a worst case scenario, 24 hours worth of data. Um, which, since this is a lab, it's not, there's, you know, not a lot to be not a lot to be generated anyway the um, the cloud router switch this is a um, this is a switch from Microtik um, I bought this off of Amazon it's like a 200 and 230 dollar switch or so I think it was around that price uh, 8 10 gig ports and this comes with two different operating systems it's like it's a dual boot um, you can use the router mode or you can use switch mode uh, if you use router mode it, it has a whole lot of features in it but all those features take so much CPU power that um, you you don't get 10 gig line speed out of the ports. So uh, I have this running in switch mode. If I decide to do anything with routing or VLANs, um, which which is probably going to happen, um, we'll be looking at using something like NSX uh, from VMware um, and either doing like VXLANs or uh, or I'll install some kind of um, uh, some kind of virtual appliance to handle uh, to handle routing between subnets and uh, manage it that way. And um, then this uh, this Spectrum wireless modem thing here that uh, it's my my internet modem for the business class is a is a two piece setup. It's it's this piece and then there's this other there's this other piece down here. Um, I mean, you can see that 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 black box next to the little white one um, that uh, to get to get the speeds that that I'm supposed to uh, with static IPs they have to use one of these solutions because their their standard modem when scripted with static IPs won't won't do 400 meg so um, and then uh, I have my workstation here with uh, with a couple 10 gig uh, uh, with a dual port 10 gig NIC in that as well and um, that's uh, that's about all for the hardware we're going to use at home. It's going to keep things going to keep things really simple and lightweight, uh, at least on the physical side, right? Um, and, uh, and then on the data center side, we've got a little more uh, a little more robust solution, and uh, we'll take a look at that now. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got. Um, I got a couple of, uh, of Dell R620s, um, 256 gigs of RAM in each. I put, uh, I'm, I'm upgrading them with the, um, the 10 gig, they've got a 10 gig card that you can use for the, uh, uh, for the networking as you can see right here. These are, these are SFP ports and then regular one gig ports and then down here on this, in this bottom server it's all just four one gig ports so I've got another I got another one of these cards with the SFP that uh, I'm going to be using. And um, so here we have, we've got a NetApp, uh, a NetApp 2552. And it is populated with two 200 gig SSD drives. So that's going to be pretty sweet. I also have a shelf of, I also have a shelf of, of uh, 1.2 terabyte discs that are going to go with it but um and then we have 
Nexus. Uh, I think these are I think these are 5548 switches. So as you can see, I've got these these cables here. Like I've already got um, I've already got some preliminary config done on it, but uh, to to give you guys something to um, to work with in case you wanna in case you wanna try uh, try your hand at these things, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna I'm gonna rebuild the the config from scratch and uh, show you what. You know, show you the, the licensing info, the the things that um, the things you need to look for, and uh, uh, yeah, go through go through that bit. Um, I've also got some some Dell uh, some 1.6 terabyte 12 gig SAS drives there. Um, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about using those uh, and doing a. Um, uh, a hyper converged building a hyper converged solution to see how that plays out like a maybe like a Nutanix community edition or something like that um, and uh, I mean, at, at a later date obviously and then um, that little Wi-Fi box there is just a, a Wi-Fi range extender it brings the brings my brings my home network Wi-Fi down here and gives me some Ethernet handoffs so I can get these so I can get these systems on the uh, on the local network to to configure them a bit, and um, yeah, that's 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 about it. So um, thank you for uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, um, feel free to put them in the comments. Uh, I'll try to answer them, uh, and uh, hopefully in the next video I will show you. Uh, I will start configuring. Uh, this equipment to build my DR site and um, we'll uh, we'll see you then thanks